are so good. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, just Hi friends, it's been a while since we did a Honolulu food tour, so I thought we should do one today. And if you're new here, my name is Bridge. It's Bridge without the B, and yes, I say that all the time because no one gets my name correct at Starbucks. And also stay to the end because I want to make you guys some poke nachos. So if you guys haven't, um, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all of my socials at Bridge Tahayashi. And let's eat together. Today we are at McDonald's Hawaii. So we have to film a brand deal for TikTok because they're launching a new product today and we have to announce it. I wanted to go to this specific McDonald's because check out the view. All right, we're gonna order on the app. I ordered six of the new guava cream pies and then two Sundays we're gonna dip it in. First time trying McDonald's guava cream pies. Whoa. It's like a guava and cream filling, but I had to dip it in my ice cream. Mm. If you guys have been to McDonald's in Hawaii, Hapia pies and Terra pies are the best pies ever, like to exist. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's us, yeah. Right. I got a yeah, of this. course. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you guys. Okay. Wait. Oh, love picture. Everybody, I love it. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Nice to be met, some friends. Hey. Hey. So, from Michigan. From Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, eat the pies. Yeah. I'm just not used to the bake. They kind of taste like a pop tart to me. Oh yeah, it does. That's but, a good... but the inside's good. Like the inside, oh. the guava part's good. If you guys have had like the Portos guava cream cheese like mm -hmm. things, they taste exactly the same. But yeah. this is more crusty. But anyways, they just dropped today. Go check it out. And also check out our TikTok of us eating McDonald's guava pies for the first time. <laughs> We are now at our next stop. We are at Adela's in Kaneohe. So later on in the afternoon, we're going to have it. This is the local ingredient to make a, a stable food. So that, that's the whole idea. This one. Nothing magic about it. Just substitute part of the flour with the ingredient. <laughs> so this is meringue. Do you know what meringue is? Yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. yeah. This is very high antioxidant. So we dry it and then we crumble it. Then we mix it in there. Smell it. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, just yeah. Like matcha, yeah? Yeah. Very high antioxidant. It smells healthy. <laughs> we'll come back and try the rest. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uncle was so nice, he gave us a full tour of everything, like how they make the noodles. He even showed us how they freeze dry the marungai, so I'm super excited. It's my first time trying them, and I want to try the marungai first. I got a combination with lechon kawali, so I'm super excited to try, but the noodles are green. This restaurant was rated number five in the top 100 of Yelp. Also has like a lot of honorable mentions. I showed you guys their wall of all their plaques and stuff. And this place has five stars and over 2,000 ratings. They showed me the process of how to make it, and it's super cool. First, they dehydrate the marunga, and it kind of smells like matcha, but let's try it. Mmm. First off, I was really scared that the noodles were gonna taste healthy because it's green, but the noodles are so flavorful. Now we're gonna try the lechon kawali. I feel like this is vinegar, but it's more of like a thicker consistency. Cheers. Mm. Mm. The lechon tastes so good, guys. It's nice and crispy, but not soggy, and it's very flavorful, but not too salty. Overall, I'll give the noodles a 9 out of 10, and I'll give the lechon kawali a 10 out of 10. Obsessed. This is so good. Look at this, guys. Ooh, look at this, guys. Cheers. Mm. It's super flavorful, and it's like, you can see the malangai knees. I already had this before, and I was obsessed with it. 
I've been telling Rich to come back here to try this, but since it's like so far from us and the wait's kind of long, we never got the chance. But now that you tried it, Rich, do you approve? Yes, 100%. So I also tried their ulu, the bread food noodles, and then I also tried their taro noodles and or ube noodles. They're all really delicious and chewy and like bouncy and springy. Which one's your favorite? I think my favorite so far, I think I like the ulu the best, and the second I like the malangai. I tried the lechon dipped in the vinegar. The lechon's really succulent. It's really flavorful. With the sauce, it's like a umami bomb. It's so good. I think my favorite part is the lechon koali. It's so good, guys. Mm. I also got the fried cheese stick. I'm trying this for the first time. Mm. It's so good. I think you should get this, and you definitely should get the lechon koali noodles. These are 10 out of 10. Overall rating? 9.5 out of 10. Also, thank you so much to at Stacy K4 for um, supporting this channel and sending a Venmo request last week for me to try Adela's. And I finally ate it and it was so good. And I want to thank you so much. Like for like some kind of like dessert. I might get Starbucks. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> we don't have a Dairy Queen in town, so we're gonna get this thing that we saw on TikTok. Okay, I've been seeing everyone on TikTok eat this. It's a churro dip cone and my first time having Dairy Queen ever. Cheers. It's so good. It tastes like churro and ice cream together. I could do like an 8 out of 10. I just got a Misty slush. It's giving Dutch Bros. Like, I've never had Dairy Queen slushes before. I love sour blue raspberry. This is so good. I give this an 8 out of 10 too. It's like sour, it's like refreshing. It's kind of like Sour Patch Kids. All this needs is Red Bull and it's so good. I just woke up and I'm craving seafood today. So we're gonna head over to Saigon Grill. The owner is gonna have us try all the different seafoods and I can't wait to see what they have. Looks like this place is only five minutes from my house so we should be there soon. All right guys, we are now here at Saigon Grill and guys, check out their truck. It's literally all pink. So first we have scallop clams. We also have razor clams too. We also have combination fudd. This is fudd a bit. And this is sugar cane juice. So we are at Saigon Grill and we got a whole spread of seafood. We also got pork chops and pho. I think I'm gonna eat the pho first because I don't want it to get cold. And this is a combination pho. There is like brisket, rare steak, and beef balls. Favorite part is all of the veggies, guys. Let me pour it all in. Sprinkle some lime. It looks like there's beef balls in here, brisket, rare steak, and some tendon. Whoa. Try the meat. Mm. Guys, the noodles are so good. Mm. I would say that the pho has a really clear, clean, nice flavor. And they're very generous with the meats as well as the noodles. And normally my favorite is brisket and rice steak, so I really like this. I give the pho a solid 8.5 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna try the pho now. Mm. 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 It's really flavorful. 7 out of 10. And these are some big pieces too. Cheers. Mm. It has a charbroiled texture and consistency and there's also like some sweet chili sauce on top and like a slight hint of like fish sauce as well. The flavor is not too strong, it's just right. Mm. I give the pork chops a 8.5 out of 10. This is one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. It's called gum sum bê ja, but this is not the ja or the, you know, but let's try it. It's too sweet for me, so for that, I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. We got our sugar cane juice. Sandy's never tried it yet, so let's see her reaction. It's really refreshing. It tastes similar to the one we had in Kahuku. Alright, now let's try the crawfish. I normally get a lot of crawfish at Seafood Boils, so I'm really excited to try this one. But first off, let's take a look at how big these claws are. Mm. There's definitely a sweet flavor on this, but look at that claw, guys. Mm. Crawfish tastes so fresh. Check that out, guys. 
Mm. And look at that. Mm. These crawfishes are humongous. Like literally, look at those claws. This is all the meat from the crawfish. Cheers. Super fresh. Okay, and now, ooh, look at all that sauce, guys. This is razor clam. I've never had razor clams before, but they're massive. Mm. Mm. Also, guys, I really love these. This is why I put my bumbo away. Okay, I'm gonna try the clams now. The bit little fish sauce. Cheers. Mmm, it's really tender. 8 out of 10. Dip it in the butter. Mmm. It's really sweet, but yeah, it's really flavorful. 7 out of 10. I think that this is a cross between scallops and clams, so let's try it. The only thing is I don't like nuts. I'm gonna take the nuts off. And it looks like a clam. Cheers. Personally, not my favorite. I think I like steamed clams way more. Guys, look at the shell. Let's plop her out. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Mmm. It's really fresh and flavorful. 8 out of 10. Yeah, I am so full. I had so much seafood, but thank you so much, Andy, for having us. My favorite today was the crawfish and the pork chop. They're known for being like late nights. If you guys want like street food, like Vietnamese street food, this place opens really late, so go check them out. All right, guys, game plan is the Lua is tomorrow, so we need to go and find an outfit tonight before tomorrow. We are now at Ala Moana. I need to get an outfit for the tomorrow's Luau. All right, guys, so this is the white one. I feel like I could wear this like all the time, so I might get this one. On the way out, I actually found another shirt that I liked more. So I'm gonna go with that one and I exchanged it and you guys will just see it tomorrow at the Luau. Alright guys, welcome to the vlog. We are at Sea Life Park. It's an underground roasted pig. Cheers, let's try all the food now. Alright guys, good morning. We're gonna go get breakfast at Hamada General Store and I'll see you guys when we get there. We got, well I got breakfast and Sandy got a sandwich. They change their daily specials every day. We secured the bag, now let's go try it. Okay, Sandy's gonna try I the... I got the salmon burger with crab and bacon. Cheers. Mmm, look at the salmon. You like fish, then you like this sandwich. It's really like fish forward. It's kind of like salmon, fish, and chips. It's giving that vibe. Overall, 7.5 out of 10. I was craving breakfast. I got the 4x2. I don't know if that's how you call it. I guess because there's four meats and two eggs. I got my eggs over hard. This is giving hotcakes and sausage from McDonald's. There's bacon, there's spam, and then there's also Portuguese sausage, my favorite. Let's try it. Mm, amazing. There's also like a lot of rice. Mm. We are at Merriman's and we're gonna get some lunch and I'm super excited because I've only had Merriman's for dinner multiple times. And I know that Merriman's is dog friendly, it's in Ward Village. It's literally like a three minute walk from my house, so I love coming here. Taco is served by la escargot. First we have the taco and country bread. This is their style of escargot and it's taco octopus. So all you do is you get your country bread and then you put the taco right on top. This is my favorite thing here, it's so good. 
Thank you. <laughs> His name is Tamago, like egg. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm not really a bread lover, but this bread is so delicious. How's the food, guys? The taco is so good. I could literally just eat just the taco, like all of them. 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice dog. Thank you. Their bells, they're not barking at the yeah. other one. Oh, yeah, they're calm. There's a burger for you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try the fries first. Mm. Cheers. The shrimp is really plump. It tastes super fresh and it's fried just right. I give the shrimp an 8 out of 10. Now let's try the mahi mahi, the fried mahi mahi chips. This one's very light and crispy. I give this one an 8 out of 10 as well. A little pricey, so I'd save this for like a special occasion. Um, I know their dinner has more options, but the dinner is also really expensive too. But when you're in the mood to treat yourself, Merriman's is so good and super pretty inside here as well. Aside from the burger, everything else was so good. Overall, I give this place an 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good lighting here. got great selfies. Give this photo a like on my Instagram at Ridge.Hayashi. I just realized the check came and we didn't even get the bag of biscuits that we ordered. All together with tip a little under $100 for two people. Alright guys, I just came back from Foodland and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making today. I'm making poke nachos. This was spicy ahi and that was Hawaiian spicy ahi. I was gonna use taro chips, but they only had Maui onion chips. So you know, it's the next best thing. I'm gonna chop up some Japanese negi. If you guys live in Hawaii, this is literally the easiest snack. Okay, so you just throw, throw it all over your table or whatever you have. Like it's more fun to eat it on a big tray and you get your chips. Normally I use taro chips, but I couldn't find it at Foodland today. Instead I'm using the next best thing, which is Maui style onion chips um whatever you do do, do not use tortilla chips like do not use like tostitos i normally put pea sprouts or green onions on top of that for like extra garnish but first we're gonna try the spicy ahi mm. i'm gonna be honest sometimes food lines poke is kind of stringy so i'm always scared to order like the regular one which is the cheaper one but the fresh one always tastes really soft and tender today i got the regular one i didn't pay the premium to get the fresh one and it tastes really good. It's like super soft and tender. So for that, I give the frozen spicy ahi an 8 out of 10. Mm. But then as I was like checking out, I saw the Hawaiian style one. This is pretty much the same thing, but there's like limo on it. So mm. that one's better for, because it has limo. I give that an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, my favorites at Fulan is anything like spicy ahi. That sauce is so good. And that wraps up today's video. If you guys liked what you see, let me know in the comments of where I should eat next. Episode 4 is going to be coming soon because I already had some restaurants that I filmed this past week that I've tried. And I'm super excited for that video. So make sure that you follow and subscribe. The pups are asleep right now. But if you guys have been up to date with my videos, you guys know I got a second puppy. And I've been posting like videos on TikTok, like asking people for help with naming my puppy. And I, I don't think that I revealed it yet on YouTube. I'm going to show you guys the video that I posted on TikTok revealing my new puppy's name. I wanted my second puppy to have a really cute name that kind of goes with Tamago so I went with Tobiko but wait guys for an entire week I was like hey Tobiko come here like hi Tobiko good morning Tobiko like it was just getting kind of tongue twister like I couldn't say Tobiko all the time mm. so I had to give her a name change one weekend and I thought that Tamago and Tobiko was cute because they're both teas so I came up with another one that is final. Any guesses? If you guess tempura, you're correct. <laughs> Meet tempura. She's kind of confused because I called her Tobiko the entire week and she's getting used to the new name. So there you have it. We have Tamago and tempura. And yes, I made them an Instagram account. It's at Tamago and Tempura. So make sure you follow and check out their day-to-day -day life. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.